Weather exerts a definite and at times a decisive influence on military operations. To best exploit the tactical advantage which may be afforded by favorable weather and to minimize the disadvantages of unfavorable weather, commanders are advised by the Combat Meteorological Organization of past trends, present and anticipated weather conditions. It coordinates the activities of MET elements deployed at key headquarters and locations in support of the operational requirement. The Corps Combat Meteorological Organization provides a detailed knowledge of surface and upper air conditions, actual and forecast, in the volume of the atmosphere covering the Corps. This also includes a sizable portion on the enemy side of the forward line of its own troops. As new munitions are acquired, the requirement for MET information changes. For example, the height of the cloud base and horizontal visibility may affect the maneuverability dimensions of the munition and its ability to strike the target. The determination of the cloud base and visibility become critical factors in the effectiveness of these weapon systems, as well as for air support to operations. Wind air density, and other parameters of ballistic meteorology affect weapon accuracy. For example, weapon systems engaging targets at ranges in excess of 2,000 meters require crosswind speeds to be computed within one knot to ensure a first shot kill. Traffic ability, counter mobility efforts, and natural obstacles are seriously affected by weather. Aviation, tactical air operations, repelling and parachute operations can also be hindered by inclement weather. Consideration of the effects of adverse weather must be incorporated into operational planning to ensure equipment, individual clothing, ration scales, cover, concealment, nuclear and chemical defense measures are adapted to the prevailing MET conditions. Weather will influence the tactical command, control and information systems placed at the disposal of various commanders. Replenishment and maintenance within the Corps will be greatly affected by weather, involving changes to consumption rates of combat supplies, increased vehicle maintenance, and the overall deterioration of weapons and equipment effectiveness. Through the G2 staff, the organization provides meteorological information from the core rear area through to the forward edge of the battle area, forward throughout the covering force area, and in depth extending to the enemy's second echelon. It does this by taking high-level soundings to over a radius of 30 kilometers low-level soundings on a 15-kilometer grid and surface observations on a 5-kilometer grid. The organization also collects and collates weather reports sent by artillery observation officers, forward air controllers and others. The Core Combat Meteorology Organization consists of a small headquarters a meteorological collection and analysis center, a ballistic MET troop, and an aviation MET troop. These elements are sufficient to satisfy both the technical and operational aspects of weather intelligence. Okay, our people will be ordered right away. The senior MET officer is the MET advisor to the Corps commander. His small staff operates from the Corps main headquarters location. There he provides in conjunction with the Core Intelligence Collection and Analysis Center, 
inputs to the theater-wide meteorological system, which are required for strategic planning purposes. Advice to the Corps staff. Liaison with Army and Theater Met Services. And implements arrangements for data sharing with other theater agencies. In short, the senior Met officer and his staff coordinate the overall Met efforts within the Corps. Yes, this is a second aviation... Uh, also located in close proximity to the Corps main headquarters is the Corps Integral Field Forecast Center, which is designated the Meteorological Collection and Analysis Center. It provides general and specialized weather forecasts, weather warnings and briefings for all phases and aspects of Corps operations. Products include MET reps, NBC MET messages, fire weather indices, aviation weather, and natural light data. To look after artillery MET requirements, a ballistic MET troop is provided to Corps artillery. It includes a headquarters element located with the Corps artillery headquarters and a ballistic MET section which is assigned to each division. The headquarters advises the Corps artillery staff on the distribution and employment of ballistic MET resources, provides expert advice on ballistic MET matters, and coordinates the technical aspects of logistic support for its own specialized equipments and expendables. It also conducts liaison with the Meteorological Collection and Analysis Center on the Corps' other requirements for upper air data and ensures the provision of MET information and forecast necessary for the efficient employment of artillery drones, remotely piloted vehicles, and air defense resources. Charlie, Charlie 1, this is zero. Whole group at this location at 1, 400 hours today, over. The Division Ballistic MET section is located at Division Artillery Headquarters where it provides ballistic MET advice to the Commander Division Artillery. Its resources include a radiosonde detachment that sounds the upper atmosphere, measuring temperatures, pressures, relative humidities, wind direction and speed, thus providing scientific data for weather forecasting and crucial ballistics data for indirect fire weapons. The section also deploys mini-sone detachments, which sound the lower atmosphere and provide surface weather observations. These detachments help meet the technical requirements of the core MET grid and tactical requirements of the Division Operations Plan. Aviation meteorological requirements are satisfied by the Corps Aviation MET Troop, which is organic to Corps Aviation. The troop is organized into a headquarters, three-wing MET sections, and a MET detachment for each Corps Aviation squadron. The headquarters is co-located with the Aviation Group headquarters and provides advice to the Tactical Aviation Group commander and his staff on meteorological matters. It also functions as a MET detachment in the core grid, providing surface weather observations. The wing MET section is located at the Aviation Wing Headquarters and is organized into a headquarters with its associated MET detachment and a MET detachment for each of the wing squadrons. The headquarters coordinates and disseminates the required meteorological information to the wing's aviation units and provides the Division Intelligence Collection and Analysis Center with its MET representatives. In addition, it tailors weather forecasts pertaining to the divisional area, provides briefings to the wing staff, and transmits weather information. Its detachments conduct squadron briefings, take surface observations, and input their acquired data into the meteorological information system. The core complement of MET personnel totals approximately 160 all ranks.
Its equipment includes approximately 20 MLVWs, 50 one and a quarter ton vans, and 10 one quarter ton vehicles. The MLVWs are used as operation centers to collect and collate data and provide weather briefings for artillery radio sonding, operations, and for resupply. The one and a quarter ton vans are used for communications and mini sonde operations. The one quarter ton vehicles are used for reconnaissance, communication, and liaison. Specialized MET equipments include high-level radio sondes which provide MET data to altitudes of 20 kilometers. These are tracked by a passive radio direction finder which relays the received signal to a pair of recorders. The atmosphere's vertical profile is then plotted for display on different forms and diagrams. Low-level mini sondes provide temperature-only data to an altitude of 3 kilometers. The balloon in flight is tracked optically to obtain winds aloft. RPV MET sensors of the target acquisition battery function similarly to the mini sonde, except that they are employed near the surface. Handheld laser coelometers are used to measure cloud heights. Surface measurement instruments are used by MET detachments to monitor weather conditions. And portable terminals receive and transmit MET data as an outstation on the tactical command, control, and information system. The meteorological system is essentially an information gathering organization, set up on a theater basis. The core and division entities provide the bulk of the raw data. Raw data is passed from the MET elements via data links directly into the core data bank where it is retrieved by the MCAC, collated, analyzed, and used in the production of weather forecasts and redistributed downwards as MET intelligence. This MET intelligence is stored and disseminated by the Combat Information System through the Core and Division ICACs and the Core MCAC. Major users of MET data are the command staffs, the guns, and aviation units all of which have specialized MET resources deployed in key locations. The meteorological intelligence provided by the Combat Meteorological Organization forms a basic building block in the core information requirement. It is critical to the activities of artillery and aviation units and is required by staffs at all levels involved in the planning and directing of operations.